we pulled together some of the key people to help us deep dive into the issues, the challenges and the best solutions. This is the Climate Story Lab first edition and um, this side of Africa, Southern Africa edition. So on yeah. And the labs are now being organized by cultural organizations across the world. We need storytelling that's as diverse, as diverse as the ecosystem uh, that we seek to save. If at 1.1 degree, we're already seeing such extreme weather events like what we saw in April last year in yes. KZN, yes. right? So you know when people say, is it too late for, for on climate? For those for 450 people that died in Durban, it's too late for them. As it is too late for millions of people that are dying every week from extreme climate events all over the world. So she said, all that is time there was much rain compared to now. Each team shares something about their project and then the whole room comes together around that project and just shares all of the tips and advice and connections and we just feel that bringing together all of those creative spirits. Um, it's a one, one plus one equals three situation. All of the social changes, social justice changes that we seek have come out of strong movements. One of the most critical ways is to ensure that we're amplifying those stories, that we're bringing them to the front, that they're, they're at the center, they're at, they're at the core of decision making, they are an critical part of climate action. I guess how I can apply what I've learned in the lab is partnering more with people who are more in strategic positions, who are able to help me with an impact plan, even while making the film, thinking about the impact that I want to have. My son. You must go with my granddaughter Amala and you must pray and ask for help from the forest spirits of Fazi. And it was these characters. Just about any journalist, any storyteller will tell you that to mobilize and motivate someone to change, to become active within the community, to follow a cause, you need to speak to their heart and storytelling is, is the best way to do that. What really stood out for me in the lab was Zaki Ahmed's input. Really got me thinking about how to use film um, and the work that we're producing to build movement and to organize. Urbanization is a party 2.0. Right? Because everybody is leaving their rural areas, going into, 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 the, into the urban areas, and they're prepared to live in slums. Whereas the land is your biggest opportunity uh, to build resilience. More gas, more oil, foreign countries mining on African soil. Mm. Mm. This generation is bold. Um, they're not afraid to speak their minds. They're not afraid to stand in front and take action. Very often we are isolated with our causes, with our passion, with our skills and coming together with this the room of formidable impact storytellers has meant a lot to me. It's given me uh, ideas, it's given me courage and I guess strength to, to carry on. No, I need to record my dream. Deep changes are high on the agenda and we're hoping that these stories that are being supported by the lab in this collaboration are going to help capture the imagination, give people a vision of a different world. We don't need to live like this.